Let's go make us a mana breakfast to start the mana day so we can have a mana gym sesh. <laughs> I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We're still in at the gas station when the wow. town's cold. Fucking yoke, chopped. So now it's like, not nice, but all good to make do. I like to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Die too young. 100 miles per hour, I might crash cause a good die young. Yeah, a good die young. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more Red light, no way I'm coming back home Long dirt road all on my own I'ma be the greatest on my name Boom, we're back at this beautiful spot It's a beautiful day Sun's out and you know what they say, sun's out, comes out Nah, I'm jakey, but we're gonna get our vitamin D Usually when I cook breakfast like this And I'm not like working at this time or gosh, like wind tech or I'm studying always come out eat here and i take my shirt off if it's sunny of course just to get the vitamin d because as i've mentioned before not many people do get it what we have here you guys would have seen we've got two pieces of toast two fried egg half a can of spaghetti spinach onion cheese and we've got some chicken if you guys see saw my story like a couple of weeks ago wintech had a shared lunch and they had heaps of leftover like the cooked chicken and they didn't want any leftovers so i took like the whole container probably it was worth like I'll say a solid two and a half kilos worth of chicken. Um, and so I froze it. Right, they had another container and I wish I took it as well, but I didn't want to be greedy, but I don't know what they did with it. That was yum. Uh, but I probably munched that back in less than like three minutes. That was actually so nice. For the last hour and a half, I've just been editing videos. Also, I got a new setup. So, I don't know, the last thing you guys seen would have just been my laptop and then another screen there. Facebook Marketplace, it was absolute steal, man. Uh, 130 bucks, get the stand and two monitors. And the monitors are pretty mean. They go like that and they move and as well. <laughs> I don't want to say, I think it was Justin. He was a GC, it was real cool. Uh, I was talking to him as well. He's moving to Australia. Um, but he was a GC, so shout out to him. I'm gonna finish editing a little bit more. And then we're gonna get into our, our gym sesh. Actually, I'm gonna probably make one more one more feed before I actually start working out because I hate working out an empty stomach. So this whole workout is week three of my first block in preparation of Worlds. I haven't actually really posted much about it, but I am going to Junior Worlds in Malta 2024. Currently around nine-ish weeks out right now. So I've been preparing for this block. Obviously, I'll have another block and then another one more block. So far, training's been going well. No really major injuries. I've, I've got a, quite a few like niggly, nagging injuries, but comes and go with, with the sport and any sport, to be honest. But the main thing is just got to be trained smart and also 
not soft and I'm, I say soft in terms of letting like say some small little niggle I have in my, my back stop me from doing my set but like identify when it actually is gonna be detrimental to my progress and actually further injure me even more that's why I can't emphasize it enough you can't self-regulate your training in terms of like fatigue and injury if you don't have self-discipline as your backbone because then you're just gonna get laziness seep in and you're not gonna finish your set and you're gonna miss out that progress and that's where your competitors is gonna beat you so you've got to train smart but also hard we're gonna work up to about a heavy double on bench Oh, I only just noticed one of my calluses are bleeding. That's not bad, but she'll be right. This conventional deadlift moved pretty mean. I was really happy with that 267.5 double. The original plan was 260, but it, the warm-ups were feeling decent. So I had to, I still got one more week with conventional deadlifts, and then I probably won't do them until after my comp. As you near comp, your specificity in training needs to increase as you get close to the competitions. That's why when you do like hypertrophy box, accumulation box, a lot of times it's quite high reps. And obviously, as you near comp, you want to be more specific. So your reps drop low down and your intensity goes up drastically. But yeah, enough talk, because I need to hiss this out. Yeah. Hopefully it actually videoed this time because it did the set before this and it fucking wasn't even videoing. I think my bike came off the second rip. I'm not sure about the first rip. Definitely better than what I used to do. There's still no excuses. This next block I just go train my ass off and go give everything. But I don't want to lose. I hate losing. Most importantly, I just like knowing that I have more left in me when I could have pushed it. Yeah, bro, it pisses me off. It eats me alive. Like at Junior Worlds last year, like yeah, I got gold, but I only had kilos left out there. Especially on my deadlift, they're like, "Oh, aren't you happy?" I'm like, "Yeah," but like, I wanted to, I wanted to push for more. Like, I knew I had more, and it pissed me off. That was, like, I didn't care about winning gold. I just cared about <laughs> just doing it as best as I could, like giving everything I have. I forgot to film my warm-up sets on squats. It is what it is, but I'm moving all right. We'll just see how everything goes. I'm gonna lock in, so I'm not gonna talk to nobody. Um, so I'm just gonna set up the camera so I can fully lock in and just go balls to the wall, give it everything. I'm gonna grind it out. Let's get it. That last one, bro, that was just straight pain. Oh, it's crazy to think. 220 kilos used to be a one rep max. Now I'm ripping it for 10. For multiple sets. Damn, that was nearly a four hour gym set. So glad I got it. Um, really grateful for it. Good, good old plane tuna. It's no, no flavoring, just some spring water. And I've got like a, a lolly and have some honey for my quick carbs. And I'm gonna have a, a hot bath to relax muscles and, and recovery. Um, hot baths are good, especially if they're really hot or oh, really hot saunas. Andrew Huberman or Huberman, I'm butchering his last name. I feel mentions on one of his podcasts really hot bath or hot sauna helps and releases human growth growth hormone, um, or increases and elevates the production of it. Detrimental to do ice bath straight after workouts because it interferes with protein synthesis. So don't do that. But yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check that subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.